Beloved, notwithstanding all of the economic, social and political upheaval and uncertainty confronting us, individually and as a nation, we are reminded that, and I quote, the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results, end quote. That is from James chapter 5, verse 16. In Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, we are told that, and I quote, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land, end quote. Let us consider Rispa, who was relentless in prayer, and who, despite her very tragic circumstances, showed loving kindness, courage, and perseverance in prayer. Over a period of time, Rispa guarded the corpses of her own two sons and others during the day from birds and at night from wild beasts. Her sacrifice, devotion, and prayer led to, one, her sons and others, including King Saul, receiving an honorable burial, two, the ending of a famine in Israel, and three, the resolution of a national crisis. Despite her harrowing ordeal, she was not angry at God, and in fact, she justified his actions, and in the midst of her own suffering, as she recited Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4, and I quote, the rock, his deeds are perfect, yea, all his ways are just, a faithful God, never false, true and upright is he, end quote. Her faithfulness, prayers, and devotion resolved a seemingly intractable national crisis. Her victory was based on devotion to God and the honor that comes with that devotion. One woman of prayer changed the circumstance of a nation. I encourage you to be that woman, be that person of prayer. Be relentless in prayer, always remembering that, and I quote the psalmist, the Lord is near to all who call on him to all who call on him in truth, and that he will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea, end quote. Persevere in prayer and call on Hashem in your time of need. L'chaim be'eshua. Stay blessed. Shabbat shalom.